causes jealousy into some. So apparently, if you lack concentration. Talk to me. What's that noise? No, go away. Hey bitch, what's up bitch? Like my dick bitch. Let me talk to you. Hi sisters! <laughs> Hello ladies and genitals, welcome back to my daily motion channel. Today we have another episode of the Level Up series. And I have not done the Level Up series because I've been flopping. I've been in my flop era lately. Anyway, do you know what I was just doing? Crying. Meditating. Why was I meditating? To get rid of the negative energy. Why? Because a motherfucker hexed me. So Hair by Penny and Peach, but the sleigh is by me, and also the jewelry. You just got slayed. We haven't done the level up series in a while. Why has that been? Because I have not been leveling up. I have not been slaying. I have been in a flop era in Melbourne, and now I'm ready to slay again. Like I got my new hair. Guys, I need to get Candice Swan and Paul Victoria's secret body ready for Europe. I'm going to the gym with Kathleen tonight because. What on earth? You see, like I'm a skinny legend. But I got a little, I need it, you know what I mean? Everything begins with waking up early in the morning. A lot of like productivity issues come from waking up late. So what did I do this morning? I had a massive to-do list. I couldn't get it done in general because it was too much for me. So what did I do? What did I do? I woke up early today. And I didn't go on social media because I'm addicted to it. I have dopamine issues. Do you guys know about Alex Becker? If not, I recommend you watch Alex Becker's dopamine videos. Basically, he's like, you need to remove anything that gives you pleasure because then boring things are going to be much more pleasurable to you. And this makes a lot of sense because when I was in high school, so I was like running startups. I was involved in other people's startups because this is a whole story, but I wanted to go to Stanford. Whole other fucking story, whatever. And basically I had a lot on my plate. I wanted to go to an American college. I was self-studying SATs, APs on top of the very difficult Australian curriculum and taking on a bunch of projects. How did I manage to do all of that and go to school eight hours a day? I fucking don't know. But all I remember in high school was that whatever was on my to-do list, it got done. And that's because nothing gave me dopamine apart from working on my dreams. Like I was not obsessed with Instagram. We didn't have TikTok. Solution right there. So I'm trying to curb my Instagram addiction. I got addicted to Instagram during Melbourne because I was so bored. My mum just made me some chicken wings, so... I will eat healthy later. Look at her. <laughs> Sorry, babe. You can't have this. You're getting a little chunky just like me. Okay, you guys. I'm going to show you my brilliant smoothie. You need to take care of your health, okay? This doesn't just mean working out, but it means if you want to be productive, for example, you don't have big meals during the day because then your body takes longer to burn it off. I like to have a smoothie and usually I'll have this in the morning. I freeze banana and carrot and then I put in some mixed berries. It's currently like 4.40 so I'm going to be awake at night because the ingredients I'm putting in here, they're quite, you don't need caffeine basically. Something I learned recently is that we try so many things to be productive. We think there's like a hack for being productive but the ultimate hack for productivity is actually being healthy, having good gut health, having good mental health and having a solid dopamine production or whatever. Because, you know, if your dopamine production is messed up, you're going to get distracted by everything, aka me. If you're eating KFC every day, you're going to feel so sluggish. If you're drinking every weekend, you're going to feel sluggish the next few days and obviously you're not going to be productive. And no amount of green smoothies is going to save you from that liver damage. Let's just say that. So the ultimate hack is dead ass to be healthy. I just put LSA mix into here and I'm putting some maca powder. Maca powder is super great for energy, libido, hormonal balance. Yeah, if you have hormonal, hormonal imbalances or you're going through menopause, if you're one of the older ladies watching my videos, this is great for it. And I put in some greens powder. If you guys are on a budget, you can actually get these bags for $5 each at Aldi. I've been using them since I was 18 and like a broke college student and I they're great so I just continue to purchase them. I also put in some organic cacao nibs which are wonderful for energy and they are very very high in antioxidants. Now sometimes I put beetroot in here, I freeze it. 
You're probably thinking, Simone, this is the most disgusting damn smoothie ever, and you're absolutely right. Nah, you're not. It, it tastes fine. You just got slayed. Slayed. Guys, I know what you're thinking. I made this on my live stream the other day, and everyone was like, it looks like dirt. And yes, it does. But I promise you, it doesn't taste that bad. And Mmm. That is amazing. Wow. Like, oh my god. The flavors are melting on my tongue. The flavors are melting on my tongue! Mom asked me if I should go to the library. If I was going to the library. And you know what? I really should go to the library. But I feel like a library defeats the entire purpose of me having purchased an iPad. And every time I'm in my hometown, I just don't dress slay. Like, when I'm in Melbourne, every day is slay. Every day, slay. So what am I doing? I'm going to go get probiotics at the moment because you have a second brain and it's your gut. And I have a feeling my gut is not healthy. I just have a sneaky suspicion. So apparently if you lack concentration and a bunch of other things, you might have bad gut health. And I'm the CEO of bloating. I don't know if it is bloating, but my stomach is not flat unless I don't eat. Oh my God, remember that video I posted back in the day? How I have a flat stomach all the time. Yeah, I need to take my own tips. <laughs> anyway, those tips did work. People are like, it's all genetics. No, no, it's not. But on, on a second note, I love Olivia Rodrigo. I want everyone to call me Olivia Rodrigo again because it was playing in the shopping mall and I was like, holy crap, I have not been called Olivia Rodrigo in a long ass time and I miss it. Please, for the love of God, stop calling me Olivia Rodrigo again. Hey everyone, today's cancelled. I haven't done anything. Well, actually, 6am I woke up and then I did a lot of work, but I can't do any work anymore because fucking TikTok ruined my brain. So tomorrow, I'm not going to look fly. I'm not going to put a lot of makeup on. Um, otherwise, I just end up looking at myself and I'm like, wow. <laughs> i got to document this. <laughs> because I have been in my flop era and now I'm in my slay era. Rise and motherfucking grind. It's a new day. We're going to the travel agent. This is what I'm wearing. Slay. Let me just casual. I have <laughs> No, I don't. I don't. <laughs> yeah, Kathleen just recovered from yeah, the coronavirus. Said <laughs> so that a little bit quieter. Oh. <laughs> the people are looking at them. why the mask is <laughs> In Western Australia, it's very taboo to have COVID. <laughs> yeah, it's not a vibe. No. It's simply not the vibe. And it was not the vibe. It was actually yeah. really so <laughs> Kathleen's going on a date with a really hot man tonight. But she can't. Get a boyfriend before Europe. No, we're not getting boyfriends before Europe. That's finding men in Europe. I woke up pretty early today. I meditated. I did the quantum leap meditation. Um, I haven't meditated in a long time. So my mind is very crazy. And also my dopamine is out of control. Uh, I encourage you guys to watch the Alex Becker dopamine detox videos. But I don't know about you. But when I don't have social media apps on my phone. I just go through my camera roll. And there's currently 17,000 photos in there. I've used up all of my iCloud storage. And my phone could die any minute. So... Also, we went to the travel agent yesterday and the travel agent said we had too many destinations on our list and he was not helpful at all, quite frankly. This trip is stressing me out. There's so much to do, man. I haven't been in therapy for a while and I need to get therapy again. I'm going to talk about it in my next video, everything I've learned in therapy. But anyways, if you're not doing therapy, I encourage you to do it. Get better help. Like seriously, it's cheaper. Um, do shadow work. So I'm going to give you some prompts. Okay, describe yourself. 
as a person, being brutally honest as possible. So you want to describe your positive qualities and your negative qualities. But this is to discover who you really are. Don't try to view yourself from the perspective of others. Like really like meditate on a thought and think about who you are. What do you not love about yourself and why? How can you change this and learn to accept yourself? By the way, I bought this ebook <laughs> that I saw on TikTok. It's called like Femme Fatale or whatever, and I'm getting the shadow prompts from here. Look, do I recommend the ebook? Uh, it's all right. It's very TikTok in my opinion. It's all right. But like the shadow prompts are good. Um, what makes me feel jealous? How can I turn this jealousy into something that will benefit me in a healthy way? And where do you think my negative feelings come from? Go back into your childhood. There is a deeper reason for everything. Going to get it into get well. I'll get into it in my therapy video. What is a promise you have made yourself that you continue to break, and why? What's an emotion I like to avoid? Why do I like to emote? Why do I like to avoid it? What is something your younger self needed but never received, and how can you give this to your inner child? What is something that makes you feel shameful, and why? What is one way you can transform this shame into confidence? Also remember that if you know yourself inside and out and you actually accept both light and dark versions of you, no one can use that against you. You can't even hear what I'm listening to, but I'm pale. Turn my hair as well. Oh, also I've been mewing. Every time I see someone with a really sharp jaw, I'm like, gotta mew. My jaw's like, all right. It c could be sharper and it used to be sharper. So I need to start mewing again. 2023, Simone sharp jaw challenge. However, I grind my teeth. I don't know about you guys, but I'm a serial teeth grinder. You know why? I was born a hustler. I was born to hustle. Even in my sleep, I'm grinding. Anyway, let's talk about reinventing yourself. So, what I want you guys to do, exercise. Write out who you want to be, and then write out what an ideal day looks like for that person, and then the little habits you can do to become her. This morning, I made three new playlists, because you know, I have to make a playlist for every single mood I'm in. Here is my current favorite song, Salvatore. By Lana Del Rey. Calling out my name in the foreign arms. Chow Amore. Me to every guy. Chow Amore. <laughs> what about it? Yes, I'm a flirt. Boys ahead of my time with my song choices. Remember Sad Girls Love Money? I said it'll blow up. Did it blow up? Yes. Andromeda's a big wide open galaxy Nothing in it for me So my heart So let's ride Driving in my car I never never want to go home Because I haven't got one anymore In a double deck of bars Crashes into us To die by your side is such a heavenly way to die My mom probably watches my videos and is like damn Is that what she's doing every time she takes a car? No, I need content, I need fucking content. I'm never gonna film a daily vlog ever again on the Love Love series, it's just too hard. I'm also learning German, I'm doing Lingoda German. That is one skill I've chosen to learn. And I'm also starting another hustle, which I don't want to talk about because evil eye. But that's also part of my level up plan. A better place to live. Roman, Roman, vacacion. Mi hada madrina dijo que sí. Este de aquí me hizo llorar. Este otro me dice marica. Este otro de mí piensa mal. Esto es lo que hago cuando me chingan. Why are you broke? No excuse.
excuse. I manifest everything. Have you ever heard of this book? Why are you poor? Why are you poor? The secret. Why are you poor? You know you can manifest money, brokey.